Hey everyone, a quick update on a new project. I've decided that I want to build my own uh, router using PFSense to get a bit more control over my network. Um, some of you may recognize this system. It's the X99 system that I used originally for Unraid, but I've been using it for experimenting. Since then, I set this up with PFSense first, but it's way overkill and it was just for experimenting um, because this is a I think it's a 24 core um, 48 thread system with 32 gigs of RAM so that's kind of unnecessary. Um, so I've uh, currently got PFSense running on this which is what will be the final um, motherboard and CPU etc at least although the case and cooler will change. Now, so this is an old um, X79 system with 16 gigs of RAM um, which is plenty enough and it's a Xeon uh, 2630L I think which um, is 6 cores 12 threads at 2.4 gigahertz and it's quite a low power uh, Xeon chip so it draws um, max TDP of 60 watts um, which is fine and it's less than that normally so the rest of the system is uh, 16 gigs of, of DDR3 RAM, like I said, and then a couple of um, PCIe cards. So the first one closest to the CPU is a 1x PCIe uh, graphics card, which I used for setup, and I may have to leave in. I'm not sure if this motherboard will boot without a graphics card. I will see. Uh, so below that, next to the graphics card, is a dual port 10 gigabit uh, ethernet card and that's actually one of the main reasons I'm building my own router is to get a 10 gigabit link to my servers um, in the garage and that will improve kind of bandwidth connections to the servers uh, which will be quite handy and then the bottom card there is a four point four port uh, gigabit um, ethernet card which provides additional ports at the minute I've just got those bridged so basically they'll all act like a um, an ethernet switch bar one actually which I kind of reserved that I might want a different um, subnet or something like that I don't know uh, we'll see um, the system needs a little bit of tidying up so I'm going to get a different case for it uh, that's a little bit um, easier to work with than this old rack mount case particularly as this cooler doesn't fit in this case but also I think the cooler's kind of had it really uh, it's a really old AIO and I suspect it's not got a great deal of water left in it um, so I'll probably just put a normal air cooler on there but it's set up for a little while now and just been testing it running um, just connected um, to the rest of the network by the WAN port so it's sort of pretending to be a router um, it seems pretty stable. I did have a little bit of problems with the UF um, booting it. Um, I don't really know exactly what that problem was, but I'd install it, try and reboot, and PFSense wouldn't boot until I changed the BIOS mode to legacy boot. I suspect this board might have some compatibility issues because it's quite old. Um, but yeah, that was a bit strange. But anyway, it seems fine in legacy mode, so hopefully it'll be alright. So yeah, I'll update this once it's in its proper case with how it works. Um, but yeah, I'm quite looking forward to running things like um, a little bit of intrusion detection systems on it and also improving that connection to the service. So cool. Okay, see you in the next video.